All right. So my son is insistent on us looking at this cottage. Uh, these are by Cedar Creek. Uh, this is the Hathaway edition, as you can see. Um, these are park models. So this isn't something you'd be towing down the road. And then you can right? keep it there forever. Right, exactly. And then so let's do a quick walk thing. around. Look at this nice big slide here. Humongous right. slide, like it's so long too. Okay, this is a 40 CF K2. The 40 or that number typically indicates the uh, space from front to back that you have inside. Um, so this unit's probably probably 43 feet, 42 feet long on the on the outside. So you have a um, more ride step above step system here. Holders? Yep. You also have this. Um, uh, now with the park models, as you can see, you have a sliding door typically where you go in. There's also a um, mount up top for a Fury Arm wireless um, camera, so you can see uh, outside uh, from the security of a video screen on inside. That's right. So again, you have another doorway. This would probably be going into the master bedroom, um, which has a small little peephole up top there. Steel steps there. This has manual stabilizers. Nice big back window there. Fury on backup camera, wireless, all set. Now this unit has slide toppers, as you can see. That this is an option you know, that you can get in a trailer. It's one of those. Um, preferences, I guess you could say. My trailer does not have slide toppers. My father-in-law's does. Um, he swears by them. For me, I think it's a take it or leave it kind of thing. Um, there are benefits to them, but there's also drawbacks. Uh, the drawbacks being um, in a real windy day, the wind can get up underneath that and make it flutter, makes all kinds of noise. So it's dependent, right? Here you have your connections. You have city water connection here. Uh, you also have black tank flush here, which is nice. This is your fresh water connection. So the way this would work is on a park model, you're always going to be plumbed into something, right? So if you're, um, you are traveling with this thing, which again, I don't know why you would. Um, this is your fresh water connection here where if you were to hook up to a shore somewhere. Okay, as you can see in here, this has a... Um, good size hot water tank now typically in rvs you're going to see small ones you're going to see right you're going to see like a six gallon or a 10 gallon or some this, cases, right? bunch of this is a lot bigger now i'm not not 100 sure in the capacity of this i'm going to say this is probably 25 gallons maybe 20 um but this is a as you can see it's electric and very nice plumbed out here you have these shutoffs here right all right, let's keep going. And we'll go on this side, another slide, slide topper here. Super, super. Your black, uh, black water connection here. Um, actually, this is probably a gray, and that is a black over there. Put hmm. around the front and we'll... Uh, this is hydraulic pump access. So this probably has some sort of a hydraulic system on it for the slides, is what I'm thinking. All right. Yep. And let's head inside. And let's check in. Let's hope it has a lock. Because one time, one of these cottages had a lock. All right. You ready? Okay. There was a there was a four beds. All right. So again, this That's is 40 CFK2. All right. Now it is a hot day today, so it's hot in here. But as you can tell, this is um. Very nicely laid out. This has a front kitchen on it. So, so nice. here would be your love seat area. You have theater seats here. That's um, very nice place. TV. Then you have your nice um, microwave system up here. Some of these are convection microwaves. Uh, not sure if this one is or not. Um, have a look. This, this definitely is a convection microwave. Um, four burner cooktop. Nice big size oven down here we have a nice 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 pantry here with these drawers that slide out very nice <clears throat> this has the whisper quiet ac system on it now the reason i can tell or how i'm able to tell is you see these vents here these are actually um air intakes <clears throat> so the air gets sucked up through here and that's how you tell if your system is a whisper quiet if it wasn't a whisper quiet you would have an ac unit here a head unit here and it would be sucking air in there so this is going to be very quiet running, very efficiently operated. Obviously all ducted through. 
very nice sizable counter spaces in here with uh, these pullaways, we'll call them. Uh, heavy, heavy, heavy. I'm going to say this is probably Corian, um, some sort of a heavy um, uh, material. It's very, very, very nice countertops. A um, lot of drawer space throughout there. This has uh, these dark shades here. So this is actually a material where you have this fabric here, which sort of bleeds some light in. And then you have these other shades that come down, as you can see here, and black out the light. So when you're trying to sleep at night, you don't have to worry about somebody's headlights coming into your uh, to your camp or to your unit. Again, this is a park model, so it's going to have more. Huge bathrooms. Park models always have big bathrooms. A lot of fifth wheels have bathrooms like this. This is a residential size um, shower unit in here. As you can see, my son is probably, I don't know, what are you, three and a half feet tall, probably, right? So this sink, very tall sink, uh, very nice two, sink. Two little uh, thingies here. Yep. And it has, um, nice thing about this. Now, this is the other features you need to look for. Uh, these fans, these are called Fantastic fans. Now, this may be a different brand, may not be called Fantastic, but these fans flow a lot of cubic feet per minute of air. Um, the exact number I'm not concerned on, but my father-in-law has these, and all of the campers he's had, he's always had these. And these just, if you want to have a nice cross breeze in your trailer, um, or just get some smell out of your bathroom, as this one's in the bathroom, this will suck it right out, no problem at all. And then back here... We have the master area, there's a screen door there. And um, then here is the big huge Yep, fan. nice huge window, lets a lot of light in here, big ceiling fan, washer dryer hookup. Again, this is a park model, so this is going to have all these amenities in it. And you also have another mount up here for your home um, TV, right? Yeah. So again, this is a park model. Park models are, um, again, purchased, set up in a RV park, and stay there. For years and years um typically these units are um well let's just look at the price here so here's your msrp right here eighty three thousand dollars um i think that is um reasonable if you're thinking about buying a trailer and sending it up somewhere and keeping it permanently there um these are well constructed most of these park models are and in cedar creek's case which is a forest river product it's very well built so um, that wraps up for the park model we will um, see you guys in the next video.